I'm Colleen Boyle, and I was on Late Night with David Letterman. Are you Colleen Boyle? Yes. Did you write this letter, Colleen? <laughs> See, what's the deal with the sneakers? I don't think Mira or Bryant would host their shows wearing high tops. <laughs> about your Colleen Boyle. My first memory of David Letterman was my mom saying she saw him on Johnny Carson. There's something about him that when he comes out, it's just who he is. He just made me laugh. An entertainer's life can become one of luxurious isolation cut off from the day-to-day -day cares of ordinary people, and naturally, I hope this happens to me as soon as possible. No, 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 no. But in the meantime, I still have to do things like answer letters from viewers. Now, here's a letter, for example, that we got recently. Let me share this one with you. Well, I wrote that letter when I was at Sears, actually. I can see myself writing it on the uh, register. That was the first and only time I wrote a viewer mail letter. It says, Dear Dave, what's the deal with the sneakers? Question mark. I doubt Merv or Bryant would host their shows wearing high tops. Concerned about your image, Colleen Boyle. We decided to answer it in person. And here now is what we found out when we drove to see Colleen Boyle. My first memory is I was on with this girl, Mary Lou, and I saw Steve O'Donnell, and he was walking down the aisle. And I said to Mary Lou, that looks like the guy that writes for Letterman. So Mary Lou screams his name and goes, hey, Steve. And then I said, Mary Lou, and we looked back and he completely disappeared into men's pants. And then I remember uh, not thinking anything more of it. And when he came in, he was like, are you Colleen Boyle? And the way he said it, I wasn't sure if he was mad at me or something. So I remember not knowing how to react. Colleen, um, oh for, no, stop it. come here, come here, man. Here, we have, we have this little gift for you here. This is for you. This is for the yard. We were over at your house. What is your name? Neil Boyle. You're Colleen's brother. Yeah. I don't think my brother knew who David Letterman was. You have any idea where we could get a hold of her? Does she work around here? She works at Sears in Hicksville. Well, we're going to try and go over there and talk with her in person, but as long as we're here and you're here, uh, could you show us around the place and maybe show us some of your sister's stuff? What, a closet? Yeah, take a look in her closet and that kind of thing. Neil came off so funny, and he is so cute and handsome, and I came off the bad shirt and the gum and the, the hair and the fat face and the, the weird voice and the low voice and the silly laugh. The best part of him being in my bedroom was when he picked up my Phil Collins album. This is where Colleen uh, spends most of her time when she's at home? Yep. All right, and here's uh, her bed, and we have some socks. Tiny little feet, huh? Yeah. All right. <laughs> And, uh, oh, the records? Show us some of these records over here, Neil. Phil Collins, hello, I must be going. You know, every night before I go to sleep, I say one simple little prayer. I say, dear God, please let Phil Collins have some airplay. Nice picture of Bill Murray. Went to see a Steve Martin show. So she actually, she must really enjoy comedy. Yeah. Uh, so the question remains, why is she watching our show? <laughs> You have a nice room. You didn't go in my room. We were in your room. Ask me a question you about your you room. You didn't go in, like, and see my... <laughs> Listen, this guy right here was sitting on your bed. Ooh, change the sheets as soon as you can. One of the guys that worked there, he said, do you want to come across the street? David Letterman uh, wants to have lunch. And then I said, oh, um, um, I already took my break. And he just looked at me like I could not believe that I would not immediately go across the street. My manager w was like, what are you doing? She was not happy. They thought maybe he was making fun of Sears. But when they found out he was just there to make fun of me, then it was fine. <laughs> and then she said I could take my break and go across the street, but don't tell anyone you already took your break. What do you think, Colleen? It's the perfect ending to a perfect day, isn't it? Are you having a nice time? Yeah. <sighs> the satisfaction of a job well done. Right, boys? Yes, yes sir. sir. Thank you. <laughs> I remember I got recognized a lot, and they would say, wow, you've lost a lot of weight. That was a big one. <laughs> and then they would say, uh, you had such an annoying laugh. This, it says right here, you're concerned about my image. <laughs> uh, you do me a favor, stop making that annoying noise. Come here, come here. <laughs> it's the shoes, isn't it? It's these shoes, right? I and mean, what would you suggest? Penny loafers. Penny loafers. <laughs> well, what, what is that noise? What are you doing there? That's my laugh. Oh, that's, you know, your brother doesn't laugh like that. Neil doesn't have one of those. You really went to my house. By the way, did we untie Neil? 
when the show ended, his assistant producer was nice enough to take us up to outside of his office. So we went in and I just looked at my shoes and Letterman was just so nice to us. And he gave my dad a t-shirt. As embarrassing as it's been, the memories of having that with my dad and my mom is really the best part. I definitely wanted to see him one more time. So we went to see his show and it was before the show started. I just put my hand up and said, what's the deal with your shoes? These are um, only used an hour a day. Yeah, that's right. And in a couple of weeks, they'll be on eBay. Right, right. Uh, number six, uh, the guy who lets strangers handle his shoes. <laughs> what? What, really? Is that right? Then they realized that I had been on the, sh the late night show. Remember the woman we chatted with before the show? And yeah. she, she wanted to see my shoes? Yeah, yeah. Turns out we know that woman from the old show that's Colleen Boyle. Do you remember Colleen Boyle? Of course I do. There she is right there. Let's Hi, Colleen. You. How are you? Nice to see you. Oh, How you God. been? Thank you very much for being here. That was very nice. She yeah, was, what it was she on this show or the old show? She was on the old show, and we went out to her house and looked through her closet. Well, no wonder she wanted to see her shoes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we went into the uh, archives. Yeah. We have a still shot of myself uh, and Colleen Boyle. I believe in those days she worked at Sears. For, for you, really? You yeah. Found that now let's right? take a look uh, and get ready. That's Colleen. Oh, that is. That is. Right. Yeah. She looks great. She still looks great. Yeah. And I look like Marie Osmond. <laughs> Marie. And they would make fun of my voice. My girlfriend used to leave on the uh, answering machine, uh, Penny Loafers. 